In this video, I would tell you how you can utilize your CMX calibration management software better. Hi, my name is Michael and welcome to BMX channel. With over 100 videos on better ways to calibrate, I'm sure you're going to find something interesting for you as well. If not, let us know in the comments below. By now, you should know a bit about CMX, calibration management software, and how it works, how to install it, how to work with it. If not, click on the links to find out more. But in this video, I want to show you how I use it and I utilize my CMX. And we will look into some reports and sort of ways you can pull information out of it. There are 11 standard reports here in CMX. I'm going to show you right now four most exciting ones, four that can actually impact how you do things and how you schedule things. So let me just jump over to my computer and we'll talk about them in details. So those four reports I want to show you are inspection summary, uh, manual entry form, positions calibrated and positions due for calibration. You basically do all those four in order to sort of manage your data a bit better. So let me show them now. First of all, we have to go to documents, reports and print. And you will see all those reports I mentioned to you already. Uh, 11 reports here, we really only focusing on four, uh, four that I like. For instance, right now, let's go to CMX and we could I don't know, filter data by plant structure, for instance. So you can drag and drop the entire plant structure into the report and then print off one of the reports. The one that I was talking about was positions calibrated. So you want to see how many and what was the outcome of the positions that you've calibrated this year, this month, this particular part of a plant. Um, you can filter the results, you can filter and play with the data a bit to get the information the exact format you want. Once you do that, you just drag and drop it into the box and this is what you get. Positions calibrated report. So if I just go for page width, you can see, I can zoom it in as well, that we've got some information about positions, devices, so what's um, so, so position, so tag, and then device associated with it, with the serial numbers and manufacturer details. So you've got that there. You've got information about what actually uh, that particular transmitter or temperature sensor is doing. You also have got target due date, when it was calibrated, and how we left that, as founders left, etc. Who calibrated it, and the most important for some people column of them all is whether it passed or it failed. That's the last column on the right. So very quickly, at a glance, you can actually see we've done 33 calibrations this week, print report off, and I don't know, two of them failed. So very quickly, at a glance, you can see that. Next up is positions due for calibration report. So if I select that, positions due for calibration report, um, and let's say I can also go by data and I can say due within maybe from first of the first 2010 till now. So I can see, I can filter the results and now I can drag and drop them onto my report box. So positions due for calibration, let's preview that report and see how it looks like. Again, you can use the filters to kind of pre-filter the information that you want and then you drag and drop it into the box. So if you go for page width, positions due for calibrations, there is a list of positions and you can see positions device function, so what does it do? Range, which is super interesting, important prior to do a calibration if you want to, you know, schedule it better and maybe let other people know, maybe let your contractors know what are the ranges of the positions that they're going to be doing. Also calibration time and when is it due. So all that information right now could be wrapped in, let's say even PDF, exported and sent to particular department or contractors or whoever you're going to be using for kind of calibration needs. So that is a pre 
calibration report. Very useful, super simple. Another one that I wanted to show you is kind of what I call it always the last resort. When um, you kind of cannot use MC6s, you won't be able to use B Mobile, or you're not equipped for that, and you kind of last resort, how can I record data differently than either via B Mobile or MC6? What if I have to use the paper? If you've got to use the paper, what do you do? Well, we've got a report for that as well. It's called Manual Entry Form. So I'm just drag and drop one of the items just to show you how it looks like. And then I try to convince people that instead of maybe recording some of the data on the back of a fact pack or in some sort of notepad or in some sort of piece of paper that, it, that it's kind of not convenient and it's not official, I try to convince people to use this, which is a manual entry form. So it looks like certificate, but of course, without all the necessary data. Manual entry form, you can see calibrators, you can choose, you can add S found and S left information. So you can print that off, fill in that data if you want, capture it when you get back into CMX via manual entry. That's another great form you may need to use sometimes. And last but not least is the inspection summary form. So let's suppose we've got, I don't know, 50 inspections, maintenance inspections, ATEX inspections that we're doing on site every year. How do we quickly find out what they are, when they do, have they passed or failed? Well, we select inspection summary from our layout in the reports and then we can simply drag and drop all of the items in it. What's going to happen is, um, sort of CMX is going to select only those that are inspections able. So it's only going to show us the ones that are actually inspections, it's not going to show us all the results for calibrations. It's only going to narrow it down to inspections. So if we look at that, we can see inspection summary. Um, again, super simple way to present data. We can see we've done only one inspection here, a checklist, and we've got, uh, we've got 32 uh, items in it, checklist in it, 30 of them passed, one failed, one skipped, who did it, and what was the overall status of that. So again, super simple. You can write now PDF it, send it to someone, show it to your boss, that uh, this is what you've done, this is how you do it. Hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about reports in CMX? Are actually using it? Uh, have you ever sort of tried any of these reports? You let me know what you think. We reply to every single comment, so let us know. To find out more about CMX calibration management software, click on the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching.